Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of R&D Garage. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. You guys are so freaking awesome. And of course, everybody who's been there since the beginning. Thank you so much. Um, okay. So we are gonna have kind of a Mustang cleaning up the plastics video today, but it's gonna be super short. So I wanna give you guys an update. Okay, so yesterday, if you've been following me on Instagram or even on my Facebook page, I shared a whole bunch of videos and cars from Monterey Car Week. It was incredible. I definitely wanna go back next year um, for more than a day. We were basically there for maybe about seven or eight hours but we fit in so much. We went down to Cannery Row, we went to um, the Concourse de Lemons, we went to, well, <laughs> I say we went to the Italian car show, but it was 250 bucks a person to get in and we were just like, that isn't gonna happen. <laughs> but luckily on the lawn were parked some of the coolest cars I'd ever seen. So I figured, you know what, for free, we can take some pictures of these. So go check out my Instagram, go check out my Facebook page, R&D Garage. You guys are gonna love it. And speaking of exciting news, oh my gosh. Okay, so next week, there's an FJ video coming. And not only just an FJ video, an FJ wheeling video. I got some of my buddies and some of my buddies got some of their buddies to bring out their mall crawlers, their rock crawlers, their side-by-sides. We even have a surprise guest coming. I'm not gonna share it, but I'm totally excited. And we are just gonna go screw around in a lake bed up at Cow Mountain. We're gonna have a ton of fun and I'm recording it for you guys. Like literally tap dancing because I'm so freaking excited. Okay, let's get started with these plastic pieces. I'm gonna set up my supplies, let you know what we're gonna do, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, before we get started here, I wanted to just kind of say a couple of things. The restoration of this 1967 Ford Mustang <laughs> Fastback is not going to be like a concourse style resto. It's basically a come on, let's get it in drive already, um, wherever we want to go. So it's not going to be perfect. If you guys want to clean up your original plastics or any plastics you have in your car to concourse specific, I would definitely check out the Mustang forums or even your local mechanics and see what they have to uh, say about that. So, okay, a couple more things. We've got um, the uppers and we've got the lower plastics here. And this is also kind of interesting. These are both original. You'll see this one here has kind of like some spider webbing, which is kind of cool. And then this one over here is <laughs> my favorite new word, moonskin. <laughs> so you see how it's a little bit like crinkly. Okay, just wanted to show you these two. Now let's go ahead and clean. Okay guys, so step one in cleaning your plastics. First thing you wanna do is determine just what is on them. Um, did they use maybe spray paint before? Did they use house paint? Did they use something else that should never go on a plastic? So basically, we're gonna do a little research here. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and clean them off and make them look pretty. Okay guys, step two, the tape test. So we're gonna use a premium tape right here. This is a good way to see how much your paint is actually sticking to your plastics. If it comes back up with little to no paint, it means that you've got a pretty good seal on that. We're gonna do a respray anyway, but like I said, this is a pretty good test of how it's gonna turn out. And by doing this, you stick it down, preferably on a corner, something like that, and kind of press it down, and then go ahead and peel off. And as you can see, it looks good. There's no paint. So it looks like we're gonna have, um, hopefully no worries when we do the respray. Okay, considering these um, plastic pieces are kind of getting rare now, you don't wanna lose the texture. So the last thing you wanna use on these is actually paint stripper, which you'd think would be absolutely perfect, but please don't. <laughs> I read on the forum, sometimes they use kind of like a heavy duty oven cleaner. Again, I haven't tried that myself. And if you do wanna try that out, do it in a little corner where if something goes down, you won't be able to see it once it's installed on your car. So that's where we are with that. 
Okay guys, so for now, I'm just gonna knock the dust off before we do kind of a more in-depth cleaning. And what is good is 91% IPA. And no, not the IPA you drink on the weekend. <laughs> this is a little bit more alcohol. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, go ahead and uncap. And I have like a small hole so it pours out a little bit slow. So I'm gonna pour a little bit into there. And then I'm just gonna start kind of polishing and knocking off the dust. And I'm gonna take it off so it doesn't scrape the table. And you can see, whew, those alcohol fumes. Ugh, it reminds me of getting my ears pierced at Claire's Boutique back in the day. So this is looking kind of nice here. So with the green, we're probably gonna to have to use a little bit more IPA or maybe Goo Gone or you know, something like that. But we'll take care of that in the next shot. And so now we're still just kind of polishing this guy up. And as you can see already, He's looking a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that guy. He's really flaky. So I wasn't actually gonna film myself doing the second big one until I realized I am now starting to have more paint on my rag than on my uh, hand here than on the actual plastic piece. So you can see this is all modeled now. So this one, obviously we were both gonna do a respray, but this one absolutely needs a respray. So I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, so you guys, this is a clear example of no matter how much you know your car, how long you've owned it, someone else before your time with the car managed to spray the interior with maybe Armor all, all over spray, something. And like I said, that makes paint not stick. <laughs> so we're gonna have to fix this. Okay, well, our mission is now clear. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of chemicals here at the shop to help us with this, but you guys are gonna laugh because the ultimate solution we can use for this is actually Dawn's dishwashing soap. So what we're gonna do is pack up the plastic pieces. We're gonna go home. We're basically gonna wash all of these with Dawn dishwashing soap. If you do the same thing, obviously test one corner of it first to make sure you know that everything is copacetic. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a vegetable brush with soft nylon bristle, soft nylon bristles, I'm getting ahead of myself here. And we're just gonna go ahead and scrape even further. Try to remove all the paint we can off of this before we Go back and restore it. And poof, here we are at home. Okay, so we've got our plastic pieces. We've got our Dawn dishwashing soap. Um, okay, first step we're gonna do is lightly put the soap all over the plastic piece. Um, you'll notice we have our brush with the soft bristles. Very, very important. We're just gonna lightly scrub. We're not gonna try to take, you know, all the paint off as hard as we can. This is just kind of a light touch up. And if you're interested in also cleaning the chrome, we've got some fine gauge steel wool here. And again, don't give it a hard rub, just kind of a nice soothing spa day for your plastics. <laughs> okay, so first step, just a light, 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 because remember a little of this stuff goes a long way. And then we're just gonna give it a little hit with the hose, just to kind of get it a little bit moist here. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and rub. So, and kind of like nice long strokes is kind of the way to go. It's almost like washing your car. You know how you pick like one part and work your way down. Get it nice and sudsy. And as always, be careful where you put your brush down afterwards. I kind of like to put it on another piece of the plastic just because if you put it on the ground, it's going to pick up crap and then that crap is going to get all over your almost new plastics. <laughs> so be careful about that. So I'm going to put it down right there. Stay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and just kind of brush 
the chrome here. Try to bring it back to life. And well guys, that's pretty much cleaning your plastics 101. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside right there. Let's go ahead and spray this. And look at that, there's still some soap on it, but you can already tell it's coming back to life. Yay, this is great. <laughs> Okay, so the last step, put these in a spot where you know it's gonna dry perfectly. Now, I can put them outside because I'm in California and it's not like super hot. If you're in Arizona, probably not because yes, they'll be clean, but they'll also be melted in probably a new shape. <laughs> so the most important step is find a nice clean area so that they can perfectly dry with no residue whatsoever. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this how to clean your plastics video by r and garage i want to thank you guys so much for subscribing don't forget to hit that subscribe button for liking commenting and all the rest i appreciate you guys so much and like i said i am so excited for next weekend bringing you a wheeling video i don't know how long it's going to be i don't know how short it's going to be but i am super excited <laughs> so until then take care and have a great week